Good morning, fellow YouTubers. My name is Robert. The guy man on the camera is Wilson, and we are going to attempt to install a trailer hitch receiver on his brand new Honda Pilot, um, so he can, you know, either tow trailers or put bicycle racks on it or whatever. So anyway, in preparation for this installation, we've taken off the spare tire, and we're just uh, getting ready to, to do it. We have six uh, nuts that came with the trailer hitch. Uh, that are obviously going to hold the uh, hitch to the pilot. Um, it called for a 22 millimeter um, socket, which neither of us had, so I, I got a conversion chart on the internet and it said you're okay to use a 7 8 uh, American. That, that's what the conversion is from 22 to 22 millimeters to um, American, 7 8 So that's what you need a torque wrench, the bolts, the receiver, and the 7 8 inch socket. That's All right, guys, before you start, you have to take the spare tire out. So, covering the camera over here. So, you need the screwdriver to just knock off this plastic thing, and I use it to knock off this grommet. When you knock off the grommet, you'll have this weird looking square piece, and you have to you have to take the, uh, what is this called? So, okay, that's a lug wrench. Lug wrench and from the side hidden, of your car. Right? Right, you got it. You have to use this then, and then you just turn it. When you turn it, there's a little. Uh, silver wire type thing that lowers down their spare tire and then you take it out and you're good to go okay so to lower the tire go counterclockwise to raise the tire go clockwise. so honda has right. made this installation a lot easier by uh, pre-drilling the holes for the for the hitch uh, so there's three on each side one two three as you can see they're threaded and then on the uh, other side the corresponding one two three which i'll show you is right here one two three and those are actually drilled into the frame of the pilot so at this point, we've got the trailer hitch receiver into place. It was very heavy, so it took the two of us to hold it up. And what we did is we hand tightened one bolt on each side just to hold it in place in preparation for the installation. And what I'm going to do is just try to get the other bolts in and just hand tighten them before we get the torque wrench on them just to keep it in place. Like I said, Honda made this extremely easy by having the holes pre-drilled in there. So... So the exhaust side is a little bit more difficult just because you have the pipe in the way. But again, uh, we both hand tightened all six lug nuts in probably, what, five minutes? Yes. So like I said, basically this is the first time either of us have used a torque wrench, but the extender is a great help here because of the tailpipe, which Wilson mentioned is in the way. So the extender is going to allow me to get the socket on the bolt and I'm going to start tightening and see what happens. Assumably when we reach the, what is it, 140 pounds of uh, torque? Wilson? Yeah, the Honda recommended, yeah. or the Kurt instruction says 140 pound torque. So and assume, we have that yeah. preset on the wrench. Alright, I'm going to pause the video because okay. we don't have to watch yeah. them do it the whole time. Okay, so I have the bolt tightened up just enough that we now need the torque wrench to uh, get the proper torque on it. So. I got a better angle, so let's see how 140 pounds of torque feels. Wow. That's it. You hear that click? That means you're at 140 pounds of torque. Okay, so basically we're trying to tighten the rear bolt on the passenger side, and the tailpipe is getting in the way. This is the bolt, tailpipe is in the way, so I'm going to have to take this extender off for this bolt. So very easy, just you know, take the extender off, put the socket directly on the torque wrench, put the extender down, and then that way we fit right up in there. And I think we have a ways to go because we didn't finger tighten this all the way. That's my fault. Okay, so basically we're back on the driver's side of the hitch. We have all three bolts hand tightened as far as they'll go without the wrench. And now we have to torque them down to 140 pounds of uh, torque. And I didn't realize how much pressure that was. It's a lot more than I thought. Because like I said, I've never used a torque wrench, so I've just always tightened things as tight as I can get them, so including car lugs. So Okay, so we're gonna put the torque, 140 pound torque on all three of these bolts, hopefully. Wait for that click. Not yet. Like I said, 140 pounds of torque is a lot. There you go. Two clicks. Better than one. There's 
one more to go. This one's a little more difficult because we're so close to the bumper. In fact, I might have to pull on this one. So we recommend definitely get a torque wrench, rent one, borrow one. Yeah. Uh, this is not just a simple hand tighten type of project. And obviously, those who know about leverage know the further out you can get, the more leverage you have. So still difficult, but not as difficult. You can't see Rob right now, but he's working out a sweat just doing <laughs> this. Just wait for that click, buddy. There you have it, that completes our installation for the 2017 Pilot Trailer Hitch. It took us just, what, 20 minutes? It was about 20 minutes. But, I mean, I did most of the work, so. Uh, so basically, the dealer gave Wilson a quote of about $1,000 to install this receiver, so I basically, in 20 minutes, saved him $1,000, so. He's gonna come over back in my house for me, so, and we'll be even. Uh, but this is what it looks like when you're all done. And as you can see, you don't see a lot of the hitch. And so, it looks good. Anyway. 20 minutes. Thank like we accomplished something. Yeah.